Hello guys, Chris here and welcome to the last video of 2022. Today we're going to be testing the GTX 280 <laughs> because uh, I just I just thought of it. <laughs> So the 280 that I have is a beautiful blower with some gorgeous eyes, that's how I like them. <laughs> oh, this is perfect. <laughs> I'm not overclocking the cards, okay, and we're running it with the latest NVIDIA drivers available to it, which are already really old because the GPU is from 2008, my friends. June 2008 release date, it has 240 CUDA cores, 1 gigabyte of GDDR3 memory, and uh, every other spec is right here for you to see. We're pairing it with an i7 4770K and 16 gigabytes of RAM, 1605 megahertz right there. And let's get into the game now, shall we? First up, let's go over the settings. I'm playing in DirectX 10 because this GPU doesn't support DirectX 11, 1080p resolution, which was a huge resolution back in 2008, and the lowest settings, which are the normal settings in this one. Oh yes, here we go my friends, start counting our FPS and it's getting 30 to 40 frames per second. This is no surprise, at least to me, because I already tested GTA 5 with these same settings uh, in the full review of the GTX 280 and since that has a lot of views, you might have seen it already as well. Uh, but yeah, it is a decent experience even at 1080p resolution, which is quite impressive because 1080p, as uh, you guys have told me, <laughs> in the comments of that full review video wasn't really a resolution or a viable resolution at least back in 2008 yet this is still doing an amazing job in 2015's GTA 5 how crazy is that right oh boy okay it's, go it's all good, Michael, it's all good, don't worry. And yes, I said 2015's GTA 5 because the PC version came out in 2015. <laughs> the guy's all right, <laughs> look at him go. <laughs> That's so interesting. But yeah, it came out in 2015 on PC and 2013 on PS3, 2014 on PS4. So various release dates for GTA 5. Anyways, it's very well optimized. Obviously, oh my god. Okay, it's so good, so good. So first, all right, this is my new garage right here. <laughs> also, that one gigabyte of VRAM is holding up just fine. It's doing a great job here at these settings. It's definitely enough, you know. If we had less than one gig, it would stutter a lot. So I am glad we got that here with the GTX 280. And uh, even inside of bushy areas, it doesn't even drop, guys. It is a really good experience. Hello, Jack. How is it going? Merry, well, not Merry Christmas. Happy New Year to you too, buddy. Oh boy, this is exactly why I came here, my friends. You know, I even when I don't make GTA 5 videos in New Year's and Christmas, I I go visit Jack and uh, I wish him a Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. Uh, you guys should do it too because uh, he likes it very much okay we, we gotta be friends with jack we're the only friends he's got you know anyways oh dropping to 27 in basically worst case scenario i don't think you're gonna get inside of bushes very often so it's okay now to you bob i do not wish you a good year i hope you die a lot this year in 2023 i will make sure that happens actually <laughs> so uh yeah <laughs> let's continue with the benchmark run shall we i think that's enough actually for 1080p resolution oh boy okay it's all good all good the car is a bit wrecked but everything is fine it was overall pretty dang playable and uh well if you're still rocking one of these please <laughs> let me know i don't know if anybody is playing with gtx 280s these days but if you are you might want to upgrade because this consumes way too much power okay it's a 250 watt card that gets barely 30 fps plus all of the time in gta 5. let's go down to 900 P resolution now wow we're getting 60s around here that's pretty nice down into the 50s now but at this resolution, it shouldn't drop from 30 anymore inside of the bushes. So that's quite nice to see, of course. Let's go. This is totally new territory for us, my friends. I haven't tested GTX 280 uh, at these settings, lower than 1080p resolution, you know. Uh, yeah, so this is nice. 
continue. Oh, no, 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 you. Oh, my God. Okay, okay. It's all his fault, obviously. Like, <laughs> they should play more Hero Truck Simulator. Actually, yeah, I always get a ton of comments. So sorry, sir. <laughs> Asking to... <laughs> what the heck? Dude? Come on. Stop being Cyberbug GTA, please. <laughs> I always get a ton of comments asking me to uh, play some Hero Truck Simulator. I, I, I just, I don't enjoy it, okay? To be honest, uh, the reason why I haven't tested that game yet is just because I find it pretty boring. So I would just be bored <laughs> playing it and making the gameplay. Not energetic like in GTA V, because I, I just love this game, you know? Um, yeah, I don't know, I don't know. Let me know if you w would like to see a board crisp. <laughs> In 2023, I, I want to learn better English, okay? It's, it's my 2023 resolution, as well as drive better in video games. <laughs> I even bought the freaking wheel and I still suck at it. I suck more with the wheel <laughs> than with the actual keyboard and mouse, dude. Oh, but that was in Forza. Forza wasn't really made for wheels anyways. Now, have we been... Oh, so sorry, Rick. <laughs> have we been to the inside of, of a bush yet at 900p. I don't think so, guys. So let's uh, let's check it out around here. Not bad, 40s. That is pretty decent now. And worst case scenario, 32, basically. It drops to 32 frames per second, so no 26 or 27 anymore. That's very nice to see if you must have 30 plus all of the time in GTA 5, 900p is the way to go with GTX 280. It's awesome, actually, this GPU, man. It's just, I bought it for 20 bucks or 30. I think it was 20 with 10 shipping or something. Um, doesn't matter, though. It's a very cheap GPU these days if you can find one in your area, you know. I don't recommend you to go on eBay and buy one like I did because it's going to become more expensive. But I've seen locally, sort of, it was a little bit far away from my city, that's why I didn't pick it up. Uh, the GTX 280 going for like 15 bucks or 10 bucks already. And you know, it's a really cool uh, blower. <laughs> Let's stop with the blower jokes. It's a really cool paperweight and piece of history, basically. It was the best GPU NVIDIA made back in 2008. And it shows some strength still in GTA 5, you know. This is a very easy game to run, yes. But it's still better running it than like a GT710. <laughs> so that's amazing, right? Okay, so let's stop it there for 900p. I don't even know where I am right now in the map. I don't think I have ever been here. <laughs> now, 1280 by 720 resolution, still using the same lowest settings, and it's getting 60s. Okay, not a huge bump up in performance over 900p, I think. I think 900p was still getting 60s here. Uh, but it is certainly feeling a little bit smoother. What is happening here? What are you guys doing? Taking pictures of what? Oh, he's taking a picture of the boar there. Why don't you get closer to him? Come on, there we go. There we go. Let's go. <laughs> don't you want to see him closer? Come on. Or do you have like an S22 Ultra with a ton of zoom? Oh my god, that's a lot of blood. Dude, you have a problem. Holy crap! Oh yes, oh yes, you're running in the right direction, buddy. Let's go! <laughs> oh, this is fun, guys. This is fun. Yes, go after him, my boy. That thing is lunch for like an entire year. <laughs> go grab it. Yeah, that guy must have been on his period or something. Look at this. This is way too much blood right now. <laughs> what the hell? Let's continue our journey here. See what else we can find. Oh, oh no, okay. Oh no, oh no. Oh no. Alright, it's all good, it's all good. For some reason I can't turn my mouth. Oh! I, I... It's... The battery's gone. <laughs> Not to worry, my friends. We got a new mouse right now. <laughs> Actually, I bought this one. This is a G303 Shroud Edition. I bought it to try it out, you know. Try something new. I, I've been using the Viper Ultimate for a long time and it is completely wrecked at this point. As you can see, like... <laughs> but I didn't really like the shape on the G303, honestly. Still, I, I think I, I will keep it because I, I got it for like 38 bucks or whatever it was with a huge discount uh, on Amazon warehouse deals. Uh, and it works quite well. But let's talk about the performance of the little GTX 280 right now. It's 
It's super surprising, isn't it? This is a 14-year-old GPU. It's turning 15 years old this year, guys. Well, next year, which is tomorrow. <laughs> but yeah, that's crazy. It's crazy that it actually works, let alone that it plays GTA 5 this well, to the point where I forget that I am testing an almost 15-year-old GPU and I start talking about mice and stuff like that. <laughs> Yeah, it's very surprising, isn't it? 70 FPS average. I think we are in for a 69 average at the end of this benchmark run, my friends. Oh, yes, that's gonna be perfect. Oh, sorry, sorry. Oh, there he goes. <laughs> I am really lost. I usually find Jack, like, no matter where I am in the map, I, I go to him and I find him. But today, it's quite hard, guys. I don't know what's going on. I, d I don't see Jack anywhere. Anyways, uh, it drops into 36 now in worst case scenario. So no 32, but it's still in the 30s. I guess we need like 800 by 600 resolution to get like 60 plus most of the time at least. Oh, and those averages drop down by so much. Oh, that's bad. We're here, my friends. Bob is right there. I see him already. Which one of you is Bob? I don't know. Get, get out of here. I just want you to be dead, okay? Just, uh, no, no, taking no chances, guys. You got, this one is dead already. She just pooped the, the money. Um, and now this one is dead already. She, she must be dead. Okay, yes, she just pooped the money as well. So that's it for 720p resolution. Should we check out Jack at uh, 800 by 600? Let's do that. Here we go, 800 by 600, normal settings or low settings still. Ooh, getting 80 FPS. That is quite nice and smooth. Unfortunately, I think it already dropped it <laughs> into the 50s, right? Or did I see it wrong? Maybe I saw it wrong. Let's see it inside of the bushes here. Wow, it's not dropping too much. Okay, yeah, 52 right there. That's the worst case scenario now. So much, much smoother than 720p. And if you're still rocking one of those 4x3 monitors with 800x600 resolution, this might be a decent option still, <laughs> you know, not gonna lie. If you're looking into a retro gaming PC and you want to play GTA 5 on it instead of your main PC for some reason, this is a pretty good contender, right? <laughs> it runs pretty well, you have those 2008 visuals, I guess, <laughs> with 4x3 resolution. And we got Jack over here, once again, how's it going, buddy? Where are you going right now? Are you going to kill yourself or something? I, I'm, I'm not, I don't want to see that, okay? Yeah. Sometimes he just uh, runs towards the road and he dies. <laughs> so getting 70s right now. CPU is not a bottleneck, by the way, even though we're seeing a little bit of fluctuation on the GPU usage side of things. That's just because the game can't really take full advantage of the architecture that uh, this GPU boasts. So uh, yeah, it can't really fully utilize it but it's fine anyways, you know, it's, it still provides a decent experience, so that's all right. Getting drops into the 60s around here, by the way. Yeah, that's, I wasn't expecting that. Okay, interesting. It's almost as intensive as bushy areas right now over here. It's even dropping from 60. No, you can't get 60 plus most of the time. Oh, what the heck? I didn't expect it. All right. Well, we gotta go lower, my friends. <laughs> I want the 60 plus FPS experience, okay? So we gotta go to advanced graphics, frame scaling. This is resolution scale, basically. And let's do one half of uh, 800 by 600, which means that we're playing at 400 by 300 resolution. This is definitely not needed, obviously. <laughs> this is just for fun at this point. I like to make GTA 5 look like San Andreas or something. Actually looks worse than San Andreas right now. <laughs> uh, and I went to, to see those 60 plus, of course. And that's exactly what we're seeing right now. 70s and 80s in the streets of Los Santos. Let's go. See that, guys? That little drifty uh, PL. How do you say PL? Don't, it's not a donut. Anyway. I don't care. Let's continue. <laughs> Sun is almost setting. It's looking absolutely gorgeous with this lighting. But the resolution is <laughs> terrible, obviously. <laughs> At least you still got the, the good lighting and the shadows and everything. Oh, yeah. And we didn't even need to um, disable the shadows in the config files like I usually do in very old and 
terrible GPUs. And you know what else is very impressive? The fact that I am still driving the same car since the beginning of the video. Like, I haven't wrecked it completely. <laughs> By this point in normal GTA 5 videos, I, I just have no car. <laughs> This is gone, like long gone. <laughs> I'd be in the third car already or something like that. Because I, I just destroy them. But not today, my friends. Not today. Wait, so there's a red dot in my... Oh, it's this guy. It's this guy. I saw a red dot in the map. What is happening? What is happening? Why are you running? Why are you running? Oh, it, he just fell. <laughs> Eat the bullet. Come on. Come on. Stop it, buddy. Can you stop, please? Stop running! I shot you twice, how are you still running? I shot you thrice now! Stop doing that! What the heck? Are you serious? This guy just doesn't die! How is this possible? Okay, finally he died. Oh, maybe this is what he stole. I don't know. Let's get out of here now. Find some bushes and hide ourselves inside of them. Alright, let's go. Okay. I guess uh, these bushes are intensive over here. No, these are not bushes, actually. Maybe these? I don't know. These ones. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Come on. See the FPS drops here? No problem. It dropped to 69 FPS minimum there, guys. Very good performance right now. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. But it is a pixelated ass. A, a mess. <laughs> Why did I say ass there? <laughs> All right, this is what it takes for 60 plus FPS all of the time. And, uh, well, last thing to do is play at 4K, right? Because we got a hunter, our interesting scientific um, experiences this year, you know? <laughs> Here we go. I set it to 1920 by 1080, and we're going to use the resolution scale to run 4K. So that's two times 1080p. It gives us 2160p. I'm not even sure if this works. Oh, it does. It applies. Okay. Yeah, I can't really set it to 4K, actually, because the GPU itself doesn't uh, support that resolution. But with the beauty of resolution scaling, here we are. Obviously, it is a complete stuttery mess. <laughs> Jesus. Uh, we are running out of VRAM at this point, of course. Uh, and uh, it, is, it is terrible. But... The fact that... Oh my god. Oh my god. The fact that I'm still playing it and getting double-digit FPS even touching 20 frames per second at times, that's nothing short of amazing coming from a GPU this old. I mean, this wasn't even made for 1080p, let alone freaking 4K. Now it just got wrecked for some reason. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks very much for watching this video. Hope you guys have a wonderful new year. I'll be back tomorrow, which is a Sunday, and I will be making a classic Sunday video. I haven't made one of those in a while because of COVID. I've not been feeling great to record such a big one, but now it's already done. And uh, yeah, stay tuned in for that. Hope to see you in the next one. Love you all. Bye-bye.